Hello folks and welcome to Max Thrust RC and my look at the uh, Estes Code Red. This is one of the ready to fly series, uh, it's quite a large rocket really. Uh, on a C65 which is what we're going to be flying on you can see uh, 725 feet so it's good for a more narrow uh, flying field shall we say. And you can see the dimensions more specifically right here. 47.6 centimeters and uh, 34 millimeter diameter and uh, there's the inches variance for you there as well okay I shall take it out of the box and we'll see what we get right folks here we are I've taken it out of the box and they're not joking when they say ready to fly as you can see it's pretty much all put together already uh, there's the nose cone there, the main body tube, uh, fin can with the fins on, and the little parachute in there, which is about the only thing that you really have to, uh, to do to complete the build. So I shall take it out of the plastic box, I'll put the parachute on, and I'll show you the finished product. Righty ho folks, there you go, you can see it's put together. It really was the easiest build I have ever done. Uh, take it out of the box and take the shock cord which is already attached to the airframe out attach the parachute to the shock cord or the nose cone whichever you prefer i did it via the shock cord the instructions say by the nose cone uh, but i just prefer my uh, shock cord technique and then i've also just put a, a small amount of masking tape as you can see around the bottom of the nose to keep it stiff but that's it, she's ready to take out to the pad and give her her first flight. So we'll go and do that now, I hope you look forward to it. Okay folks, so you can see we're out, we're on the pad and she's hooked up, ready to go. Let's give her her maiden. Maiden flight of Code Red launching in five, four, three, two, one. Okay folks, here you can see this is where she landed and what a beautiful flight. Quite artistically up into the sun and uh, yeah, she landed right here. So I'll get her back to base and I'll give you my final thoughts. Alrighty folks, here we are back from the field and uh, as you can see, she's all in one piece. So what do I think of the rocket? Well, I think it's a great design. It's a classic timeless shape with the uh, swept back fins, big chunky body and this beautiful uh, red finish effect that they've got on the rocket as well. It's a very eye-catching design. So uh, yes, that's a big plus point. Uh, as far as the build quality is concerned, well, I mean there's not much to do. It pretty much comes as you can see. All you've got to do is, as I say, put the uh, parachute onto the nose cone or shock cord. So uh, that's really a, uh, a, a big plus point for those that are getting into the hobby. Flight characteristics, well, as you, can, uh, as you saw, it was an absolutely uh, beautiful flight. Straight up, no real wiggle, no fish tailing. It was absolutely uh, beautiful. Arced over, little after Apogee, the parachute came out. So uh, yeah, on the C65, this thing flies uh, really nicely. You can see it's uh, still in there. Durability, well, 
there's absolutely no damage done to it whatsoever. It is completely and utterly in one piece. Uh, no flaking off of the uh, the card around the nose cone, which is uh, quite a common problem. Uh, no gouges, scratches. It's uh, absolutely as good as new still. So, would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you're a beginner looking to get into the uh, wonderful hobby of model rocketry, then you really could do a lot worse than getting this. It's just so simple to use, simple to build, and you'll literally be out on the field in five minutes time. Uh, the only extra things I had to do was to, uh, as I say, put a little bit of masking tape on the nose cone there. And uh, also they'd used a little bit uh, too much glue on the launch lugs, uh, which meant it was a little bit tight on the launch rail. But I uh, just removed some of that with a hobby knife and uh, now it's really smooth. So that is it for my review of the Estes Code Red, a great little rocket. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please feel free to check out the rest of my channel. Also, please like, comment and uh, it would be absolutely fantastic if you really did enjoy today, if you'd hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Max Thrust RC. Bye.